Hi, folks. Uh, well, I've been very busy with that uh, Deep Wars project that I'm working on, building uh, deep sea environments, as you see there. But uh, there is another project that I, I want to update the channel on. And this is very important because Julie and I will probably be doing this first before we do any Deep Wars stuff. Uh, these are all the boats, the river boats that I have, that I made for Oathmark. And this is our Oathmark River Battles. Julie and I have agreed that we want to have some river battles. And uh, so I made a bunch of boats to simulate, you know, large vessels and small vessels. Now, uh, here is my trireme. This is one of my favorite ones. And I think that's going to be my boat. Um, but <laughs> here is one of du uh, Julie's uh, boats. And I still have to paint these. All the construction is done. So basically, this is it. I have more than enough boats for any game. Not just Oathmark. We've been thinking of other games as well. But for Oathmark, um, here's Ernie. <laughs> so uh, Julie uh, made sure that I uh, had a space for Ernie. Uh, that's her Indrik that I sculpted. And I'm just going to come around here. So uh, the boats have, I added these little anchors on chains, right? And this is more of a, a show thing. It's really not going to play a role in the game necessarily. It's just a little detail. It's kind of nice to have a little anchor point there. And uh, so they have to be painted. Uh, the other thing here, if we come over here, is I made a more specialized archery boat. So I have this boat with this tower. And you can put your archers there. And... Uh, they will, you know, they're way up high and everything else. And they'll have flaming arrows. Uh, maybe not for Oathmark, but for other games. You know, we can put a, f a pot of flames somewhere. And uh, they're ready to, you know, attack boats with flaming arrows. Now, the cool thing is that this tower does come off. It's not glued onto the boat. And the boat looks like this. So that we can use it in any other game. Games like Frostgrave. Games like Ghost Archipelago, where we do need boats, well, we have plenty here. Um, for Oathmark, these boats were designed with the idea that the regiment tray fits on the boat. And if we want to do an amphibious landing, we can just take our tray and it comes off easily. Which is why I did not put any sails or any detail like that. Because we want to have uh, spaces where we can you know, move the models and, and interact with the models. Um, here I have a catapult. So obviously some of these boats could be artillery boats. And very important, these little things that I have here. Uh, Julie has already come. She's, she's seen the boats. So they're Julie approved. And uh, one of the things we were talking about is that we, we think we want, we're going to go with the dice method of keeping track of crews. Uh, in Oathmark, you have either three crew boats or five crew boats, right? The bigger ones. And so uh, once the crews are destroyed, the, the boat comes off the table. So that's a very important thing for Oathmark. So I made these specialized little platforms. And on the small boats, I did it like this, right? And uh, therefore, we can just keep track of the crews. As we lose crews, we just move the dice. And you can see another one there. You can see uh, on the platforms, I put the dice just to show, right? Now, the other platform that some of these ships have, like this one, we can put a wizard, a, a general, you know, or a character that we want to keep kind of separate from the main unit. We have a platform that we can do that. And in any other game, that uses, say, hull points or something like that or armor points or whatever it is, we can use the dice to kind of keep track of that. So uh, that was just a little something that I threw in there to keep the dice separate and everything else. So there's the archery boat. And I am going to make a couple more towers so that they can fit on these boat, these little boats. And this way, if we do want to have, you know, more archers on boats, well, we can. And we don't necessarily have to have the towers, but I just thought it was cool to have a specialized tower for the archers. 
right there. And then we are going to use these, uh, these goblin, ugly goblin boats are going to be used as boarding vessels now. The goblins are going to be using these to board those bigger boats to try and stop you know, the raids, especially during amphibious attacks. And then these little boats here with the sails, I'll use those as merchant boats or something like that, right? So there it is, folks. I wanted to give an update on this. Uh, these boats now have to be painted, and Julie's going to come in and do some work with me, and we're going to just give them a, a, a little bit of a paint job, add some paint details, right? Um, and that's it, you know? Maybe a couple of flags like I have here and just give them a little bit of interest. And that's it. That is my Oathmark Riverboat update.